Now, going to school now is a lot different than it was 50 years ago. Back then, we, of course, had to walk to school uphill both ways, and we didn't get snow days very often. Bella Craft talked with past school officials who remember trekking into school no matter the weather. But then, as you can see, kids playing king of the hill up on top. When it comes to playing in the snow, some things never change. Or even when I was principal at Northridge. However, when it comes to protocols for canceling school because of the weather, times have modernized. I don't even recall calling off school because we didn't have any way to communicate with parents or letting them know what's happening. So the rule was, we will have school no matter what. Ev Miller remembers it the same way. And I was very proud that I didn't miss one day because of weather. Miller was an English teacher at Bismarck High from 1957 to 1993. In that time, he only remembers school being canceled twice. It was an ice storm. It wasn't snow. And you couldn't stand up outside. But other than that, uh, uh, it was very, very rare to call off school. As for letting school out early, one experience stopped that practice. In fact, one little kid, a second grader as I recall, he left school and uh, couldn't find his way. And so we had to go out and hunt for him, and that was a very, very scary times. Now if the weather is bad, class can go online and parents are notified <laughs> almost instantly. They say that the school will be conducted with virtual learning. We didn't have such a thing, so the kids were either there or they weren't there. If there was a snow day back then, students would make up the missed day in May or June. In Bismarck, I'm Bella Craft reporting for your news leader. BPS has had five virtual learning days this year.